Assalamu alaikum and greetings to all who watch my video. My name is Nur Noha Sharafana Binti Kifli with metric number is DN180065. My main supervisor is technologist Dr. Nurhani Sayati Binti Hairo and my co-supervisor is technologist Zarizi Bin Awang. In this video, I will present my final year project 2 entitled Synthesis of Zinc Oxide Kaolin and the Different Ratios for Palm Oil Mill Secondary Affluent Palm C Treatment via Membrane Photocatalytic Reactor MPR. In this presentation, I will include an introduction, literature review, methodology, results and discussion, and conclusion of my project. First of all, this is my poster for FYP2. Basically, this study proposed to investigate the effectiveness of zinc oxide kaolin under different ratios for palm C treatment via MPR since current treatment of wastewater do not comply to the standards regulated by EQA 1974 and DOE. Thus, this study aims to synthesize different ratios of zinc oxide kaolin 1, 3, 1, 4, and 1, 5 via precipitation method and characterize via FTIR as well as analyze zinc oxide kaolin performance in treating palm C via MPR and elucidate the membrane fooling mechanism using theory of blocking filtration laws. The permeate quality was analyzed in terms of pH, color, BOD, COD, and turbidity in lab, and the membrane falling mechanism have been elucidated by using MATLAB. Through the experiment, zinc oxide kaolin 13 was revealed the best performance due to its highest photodegradation efficiency and its ability in reducing membrane falling mechanism since it demonstrated greater normalized flux and the most rejection percentage for color intensity, BOD, COD, and turbidity. Besides, zinc oxide kaolin 13 also able to reduce cake filtration mechanism and increase the permeate flux during operation. Thus, these findings can be set as a benchmark of an effective method to treat palm C for water redevelopment due to the membrane falling reduction and the effectiveness of performance in generating a good quality permeate. Introduction Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia is one of the countries with biggest palm oil plantation and the demand for palm oil products is increasing year by year and the plants need more fresh water and this is leading to the incrementing of heavily polluting palm oil mill effluent. Palm C is a biological treatment of pomming which manage in ponds by using initial steps like cooling, acid ponding and anaerobic aerobic treatment. However, palm C characteristics still not comply to the standards in terms of color, pH, stability, BOD and COD and this may affect the environment and aquatic ecosystem if discharged without following the standards. So, this study intend to treat palm C via MPR incorporated with different ratios of synthesized zinc oxide kaolin. Besides, previous study also has mentioned about zinc oxide which it is the most preferable photocatalyst and kaolin is easy to get known as renewable sources, large specific area, lofty mechanical strength and chemical stability as well as excellence in adsorption efficiency as compared to other base materials. In addition, the using of kaolin incorporates with zinc oxide offers more benefit in terms of renewability, eco-friendliness, cost effectiveness and simple operation. Literature Review the study from Lucas Chill et al. 2020 has proven by the addition of clay, it can reduce the agglomeration of zinc oxide and since zinc oxide has easy agglomeration properties. Besides, the preparation method for synthesizing zinc oxide kaolin also provides a simple road, more economical, high purity, short preparation time, low temperature involved and achieve the homogeneity. Ladies and gentlemen, the MPR is one of the alternative way to give a better quality of treated palm C because this system offers high energy efficiency, modularity and easy to scale up. In addition, MPR has a coupled system of membrane filtration system and photocatalytic degradation process that able to reduce flux decline, rapid oxidation and no polycyclic products formation. According to Zheng et al. 2017, MPR also have special characteristics in sustaining a better effluent quality compared to current wastewater treatment. For your information, photocatalytic activity is vital in treating palm C because it helps in degrading organic pollutants and inactivating the pathogenic microorganisms. 
Hence, the selection of membrane for filtration system also important in order to give a better quality permeate. Nanofiltration and a PPA membrane was used during experimental due to its smallest pore size that gave greater efficiency in color removal, remove low molecular weight and soluble pollutant and low tendency in membrane folding. Besides, Wisner and Eftel has reported four types of folding membrane mechanism and the blocking mechanism presents in the two stages in which the transport of cake forming materials of the membrane and back transport mechanisms in removing the material from the membrane. Methodology the synthesizing of zinc oxide cowling was done by mix the oxalic acid solution and zinc acetate solution and stir them for 5 minutes. Then, zinc oxide cowling was added into the mixture and stirred for 12 hours at room temperature. The zinc oxide cowling was formed and decanted and rinsed and dried in oven for an hour at 100 degrees Celsius to remove the water content. Lastly, Zinc oxide kaolin were calcined for 3 hours at 550 degrees Celsius and ready for characterization via FTIR as well as ready to treat the POMSE via MPR system. Without zinc oxide, zinc oxide kaolin with different ratios, synthesized zinc oxide and commercial zinc oxide were conducted via MPR in order to analyze which type of photocatalyst or photolysis is shown the greater normalized flux. After completed the treatment via MPR, permeates quality were analyzed in terms of pH, color, BOD, COD and turbidity in order to achieve the second objective of this study. Lastly, the membrane folding mechanism were elucidated via MATLAB R2021B by using blocking filtration laws introduced by Wisner and Aptel. The value of model fitness degree and fitting parameter constant were recorded for further discussion. Results and discussion Ladies and gentlemen, in the obtained FTIR data, we found the functional group of silicon oxygen stretching, silicon oxygen, titanium oxygen silicon, silicon oxygen aluminium, amine group, zinc oxide, um, alkene group and hydroxyl group for kaolin. Besides, zinc oxide kaolin has existed another new bands in the spectrum due to the zinc oxide embedded on the kaolin. However, the band of zinc oxide were not clearly visible in zinc oxide kaolin due to the highest amount of kaolin than zinc oxide. In order to recognize which type of photocatalyst is better during POMC treatment via MPR, normalized flux has been calculated and its resulted zinc oxide kaolin 1-3 is the best performance since the normalized was 0 0.1137 which was the highest than others. During water quality tests, the pH of POMSE before and after treatment were constant and it can be deduced that the pH condition does not affect during POMSE treatment under different ratios of zinc oxide kaolin via MPR. On the other hand, the results of water quality analysis has revealed that all of the results for zinc oxide cowling 1,3 permeate compliant to the future standard discharge limit of palm oil mill effluent set by DOE 2015. The percentage removal of zinc oxide cowling 1,3 for BOD and COD were highest than others, even though the removal percentage of color and turbidity for zinc oxide cowling 1,3 was at second place. However, zinc oxide kaolin 1,4 or commercial zinc oxide does not able to beat to the result of normalized flux for zinc oxide kaolin 1,3. According to Cedic et al. 2019, instead of normalized flux, type and pore size of the membrane used also vital to get the grid value of permeate quality since it considered the potential of membrane to remove the organic contaminants and solid particles from POMSE. For membrane folding mechanism, the photolysis and photocatalyst obtain cake filtration mechanism. However, zinc oxide kaolin 1,3 revealed the best improvement for membrane folding mechanism, which shown the lowest values of model fitness degree R square. For your information, cake layer occur in the study due to the variation size of POMSI pollutant particles that larger than an FPPA pore size. Due to the variance of particle size, it could enhance the interaction between folds and membrane surface. As a consequence, the pollutant particles are deposited on the membrane surface and presented a dense cake layer on the membrane. 
Besides, complete blocking mechanisms were not performed for the flux decline in this study due to poor data fitting to the complete blocking equation. Conclusion As conclusion, this study has successfully achieved the objective of the study in which zinc oxide kaolin was synthesized under different ratios via precipitation method and characterized by using FTIR in analyzing the presented functional group. And this study also revealed zinc oxide kaolin 1-3 is the optimum ratio to treat POMSE since it greater normalized flux and permeate quality followed to the DOE standards as well as zinc oxide kaolin 1-3 able to reduce membrane folding mechanism. Gun chart. Here is the planning activities or gun chart for my PSM2. That's all from me. Have a good day and thank you.